Hey guys, this is Luke again, and welcome back to another Ninjago video on the channel today. We're going over the season finales, since season 11 aired its finale just recently. I might as well do this one, since I already did the premieres as well. So let's start with the pilots. <laughs> we have a little bit of a hilarious flub in there, with, or at least I think it's a flub. Um, father, I would not want you to do this, brother. <laughs> Why did Wu just sound like really Japanese all of a sudden? But I love Garmanon's little monologue, the search for the remaining three golden weapons, and it gave us a taste of what's to come in the future. So for that, it's not, I'd say it's a B finale. Not the best, but definitely nowhere near the worst. Season 1's finale, where is it, where is it, where is it, uh, the Great Devourer finale, okay, Day of the Great Devourer, okay, the fight between the Great Devourer and the Ninja was very, very cool, I really like it, um, ooh, wait a minute, sorry, I fixed my desk, um, but anyway, uh, Season 1's finale is pretty good, um, I really like the fight between the Great Devourer and the Ninja. The Ultra Dragon getting involved and then beaten to death. Well, not beaten to death, but, like, beaten. Beaten. And then... It was a great Season 1 finale. It was definitely satisfactory enough, so... Um, it's not terrible. Is it as good as the pilots, though? Probably, if not a bit higher. So, B. Season 2 finale. The final battle. How can I not love the final battle? It's the fucking final battle. Um, we have one of the most epic fights I've ever seen in the entire show. It still lasts to this day. Even though there were a few horribly uh, executed lines from Jillian Michaels. I'm sorry, Jillian. I should ex escort myself out. <laughs> but anyway... Other than those little flub lines from Jillian, I still think it was a good battle. Um, it was amazing, and it definitely deserves the A rank. S is a bit stretching it. Season 3 finale. The one that gave me scars. This episode. This episode was just good on its own. I really, really love this episode finale. I love this finale to freaking infinity and beyond. Uh, there's nothing in the world that uh, ever make me hate the finale, so S tier. Season 4 finale, which was Garmadon sacrificing himself to to go to the Cursed Realm. I like this idea of Garmadon going to the Cursed Realm. Um, the only bad part is we only got to see Sensei Garmadon for two seasons. I don't really count season 5 since he only appeared in like one episode of season 5. Um, but we only got to see him for two seasons, and I really wish we could see him more. Um, and uh, I really like this finale. This finale was really good. This finale was pretty good. And definitely not S, because that's God. But I will think it deserves A. Season fun 5 finale was also very good. One of the best in the entire series. Um, I have to put it at S simply because I love the battle between the ghosts and the ninja, Moro versus Lloyd, and the whole Moro's death scene. Um, it was just good. And if Ninjago ended right there, I would be fine. I would have been fine if Ninjago ended right there. It would have been an amazing end to the season, to the series. <sighs> of course, we had to come to this point. Skybound finale. It's terrible, stupid, a slap to the face, and a slap to the face and a middle finger combined to every single non Jaya fa Ninjago fan out there. Stupid, stupid, stupid. I'll never love that finale. Season 7's finale is a very good one. Very good one. Not, I like the whole idea of Wu getting lost in time. But that kind of remains, gives the question of, if Wu can escape, why can't the Time Twins escape? Maybe the Time tw we'll see more of the Time Twins in the future, but I don't know. So, I really like this finale. The battle seems kind of lackluster in a few parts, so um, I'm 
contemplating B or C. Start playing tonight here. B or C. Hmm. Uh, B or C. And, I mean, it was a pretty good setup for Sons of Garmadon if there were more Hands of Time references in Sons of Garmadon. So I'm going to put it B for now. I might change it later. Sons of Garmadon is an okay-ish finale. It's not the best. Uh, I truthfully feel that the finale wasn't the best thing I've ever seen. It's definitely nowhere near as bad as Skybound's finale. Definitely nowhere near as bad. But the problem is, is that the Sons of Garmadon were not the right villains to defeat the ninja. It made the ninja kind of look pathetic, to be honest. Sure, it was an unexpected twist, but if it was just Garmadon alone defeating the ninja, then, yeah, I would find it to be a truly shocking moment. Even if I truly think he didn't deserve it because he only came back like two epi like an episode or two prior to this finale, and it just didn't seem believable to me at all. Then we have Hunted. Hunted is an okay-ish finale as well. So I'd say C, mostly because I don't don't think a villain um with like Garmon deserved to get arrested, and. I mean, I do like the idea of calling back to Rebooted with I Cannot Fight You, But I Can Resist You. But the fights were kind of eh-ish to me. It's not the best thing I've seen. The endings. A lot of people don't really care, don't really like this episode, but I personally think it's pretty good. I like the whole Oni, the Oni coming back. Yeah, sure, it was very rushed. It was a rush finale, but that doesn't mean it's bad. Um... So, I don't think it deserves A or above. Uh, C is too low, and I think it, B is right there. If only Lloyd actually died, and he would have stayed there permanently, it would have been up to A and possibly S. Then we have um, Awakenings, which is the season 11 finale. Um, I really love this finale. Awakenings. Um, I like how, um, and I called it, I totally called it, how Lloyd, or I think Vex, indirectly summoned Zane back with the words to protect. Yeah, that was his original purpose, to protect those he cannot protect themselves. And that's how Zane came back. But it did raise a lot of questions because a lot of people said that this could have been an altered version of the episode. Uh, like a censored version of the episode. I'm going to go into a theory video about that um, sometime in the future. But I really like this finale as a whole. It's not the best thing. It's not these god tiers. But it's definitely deserving of the A. So I'm going to write an 11 next to it. So yeah. Those are my season finale tier ranking. So that is my season finale tier list. What it your guys' season finale to your list. Let me know in the comments down below. But anyway, hope you guys liked this video. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel by clicking on that red subscribe button. And click on the notification bell to see every video that I will upload. And I'll see you folks in the next video. Bye-bye.